Well, hello there. I'm Jordi from Jordine and welcome to a new episode. Today we are making a pumpkin bun cake. You know, I just love to eat cake and also make it. And in the previous episode we made some fresh pumpkin puree. So why not make a delicious pumpkin bun cake? So, let's start. In a bowl add all of the dry ingredients. Begin with the self-raising flour. Light brown sugar, demerara sugar, the raisins, baking soda, and the pumpkin spice powder. Mix everything together and set it aside. We're going to use it later. Now we're going to focus on the wet ingredients. First of all, melt all of the butter in a saucepan. It isn't a bad thing if the butter turns into a brown color a bit, this only gives it more flavor. Once all the butter is melted, set it aside and let it cool down a bit. In a separate big bowl, add the pumpkin puree. And one, two, three, four eggs. Cut a clementine in half and add in all of the juice. Mix this together to break up all the eggs. Now add in the butter and keep mixing until the butter is incorporated and doesn't sit on the top anymore. Once that's done, add half of the dry ingredients we've made earlier and mix it in. Add in the other half and set aside. I've already prepared the bun cake tin. I greased the inside and added some flour to it to prevent the cake from sticking. Add in the mixture and tap it on the counter to release some of the air bubbles. Bake this in a 175 degrees celsius oven for around 40 minutes. It all depends on your pumpkin. If it's still too wet after 40 minutes, leave it in longer with some foil over the top to prevent it from burning. Leave the cake to cool for 10 minutes before taking it out of the tin. Let it cool down completely. Let's make the glaze. Add icing sugar in a bowl and add 1 teaspoon of cocoa powder. Add in a tiny bit of water or milk and stir until there's the right consistency. You can make it as thick or thin as you like. Put something under the cake for all the excess glaze and dump it all over the cake. Leave it to set and enjoy! And that's it! I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you will try this recipe. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next one.